Hawaii packs a lot of landscapes in a very small footprint. Lush forests, volcanoes, waterfalls, mountains, and beaches. Join us to explore six beaches and oceanside locales we visited on the Big Island. Hawaii is a bunch of volcanic islands on the Pacific. The coastal areas are mostly rocky outcrops or black sand beaches. But there are a few man-made white sand beaches as well to soak up the sun and the water. Our first oceanside spot is Carlsmith Beach Park, which is just outside Hilo on the extreme east side of the island. While not much of a beach, it's got tree covered seating areas and shallow pool of waters. Great for beating the sun and having a picnic or taking a stroll or taking a dip. Not that kind of deep, hopefully. It's also a great spot to get real up close with turtles, which seem to be pretty comfortable swimming beside humans. Hilo downtown is only 10-15 minutes drive from the beach park and during the day there is a farmer's market nearby. Lots of local produce and fruits to pick up here. So if you are not from a tropical area and do not always get these fresh goodies, do consider stopping here and sampling some. Our second location is Waikaloa Beach. This is on the northwest side of the island and is part of the Waikaloa Resort area, although the beach is open to everybody for most of the day. For a Hawaii beach, this one is kind of dull without much waves, but it's man-made and probably built that way to cater to families and kids as well. While one of the most popular beaches here, it's not on my favorite list because of that and also because there's a constant traffic of boats. Next we go back to the east coast to Luapahoho Lookout which is on the Hamakua coastline north of Hilo. Getting to the beach takes some drive along a narrow winding and steep road. At the end you'll find a sprawling park along the coastline complete with pavilion and restrooms. Although it 
it is popular for swimming, snorkeling and fishing, the surf is very strong. In fact, in 1946, 21 children and 3 adults were lost to it in a tsunami. There is a man-made concrete breakwater to shield small boats that launch from here. But the surfs can swell over it, so I highly recommend being aware and watchful while here. Just over halfway through our list is Kamakahonu Beach at the heart of Kona. This beach is accessible from both the streets as well as from the Courtier Marriott lobby. It's a small one and can get very busy, but nothing can beat the location. It also has options for shallow snorkeling, kayaking and other water sports. So it's a very popular spot. What I really liked is how close I could get to some of the fishes in ankle deep water. Since it's right inside the city, there are ample shopping and eating options within walking distance. In the next location, we once again head out to the northeast side of the island to Pololu Lookout. Not much of a beach, but there are some spectacular views from here. To get to the views, we need to park the car at the relatively small parking lot at the top of the cliff and hike down for about 25 minutes to get to the Pololu Valley. It's a moderate hike and most people should be able to do. And at the end is the serene coastline where a small stream from the valley merges into the ocean. The coast is mainly pebbles, which is different from most of the coastline here, and the views are dramatic both towards the ocean as well as towards the valley. I feel it. last beach we went to is once again on the west coast of the island, north of Kona, called Maninioal. While it is a white sand beach, it's over a rocky coastline and the waves are relatively strong, making it ideal for swimming or surfing. small and can get pretty busy but the location at surf makes it a popular spot among beach lovers. So there are the six beaches we visited. There are many more and while we couldn't cover all of them including some of the popular ones like Hapuna Beach, 
I think we covered a wide variety of what the Big Island coastline has to offer. Are there other beaches you would recommend? Please comment below and let us know since we will definitely be visiting the Big Islands again in future and if there are suggestions we will likely try them out. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more trips to come in the future. Until the next one, take care and signing out. Turtles behind me.